I'm on an overpass, so hopefully you can hear me. This is where we're starting the video, but this place is called the city that never dies. It has been destroyed and rebuilt multiple times. And also, unfortunately, you had the infamous blast that occurred here, which is straight ahead. I was gonna try to get a little closer, but there's a port, military everywhere. Also, uh, it's the highway over there, so I can't really walk over there. Moral of the story is, we're gonna walk over here in this area because I wanna see how the vibe is now. I've heard there's some rebuilding going on. We're just gonna check out the vibe. We're gonna start over here in a popular spot and then we're gonna make a beeline towards the downtown area, which I believe is straight that way. So that's the plan. Damn, here we go. The market, uh, I think this is the market. We're gonna find out. I think this popped up after the Civil War. It looked like a restaurant. Let's go down this way, hold on. Yeah, the market might be over here. Oh, yep, bam, here it goes. Oh, wow, look, check this out. Check out the vibe. As soon as you walk in, left side, they're whipping up food. Oh, yeah, look at this. Books, snacks. You could try different desserts, local food. Oh, wow. And I believe we're near the Armenian area. So you're gonna have some Armenian influence. Desserts, oil. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, hello. Oh, thank you. Oh, let me go over here. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I can't film everything. I'm trying to find uh, hot foods. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, Marhaba. This is uh, Kibbe. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a local food right here, Kid Kibbe. Hey, Marhaba. So this is, uh, it's called Kibbe, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Pumpkin kibbe. Pumpkin. Okay. It's made up of pumpkin. Okay, pumpkin. So it's vegan. This is kibbe with meat. Oh, that's with meat. Yeah. Okay. How, how much is the... And then what is this? Sambusa? Uh, this is uh, uh, spinach. Oh, okay. How, how much is this? Uh, I think... Uh, okay. Can I have a... I'll take two uh, of the, uh, okay. this, and then uh, I'll take two of the kibbeh. Okay. okay. Oh, they got this too. Oh, that's 75, okay. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, oh, they got hummus too. Hummus, uh, that is, I don't know what that is. Uh huh. Oh. And, uh, and the veg veggies. Oh, okay. Oh. And, meat. and that's with meat. Yeah. Vegetables, so they got for vegans, vegetarians, and meat eaters. Yeah, I might come back. Let me, let me do two and two. I'm going to walk around and... Yeah, I haven't had hummus here. So I need to definitely try that. Oh, yeah. And then I'm guessing these are desserts. Kibbe. This is hum? Kibbe. Kibbe. Yeah. Oh, it's the same. Yeah. Oh, it's the same, but bigger. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, guys. And this is cabbage. Yeah. Okay. With rice. With rice. And, uh, hey, hello. What? What? What is? Oh, it's Armenian. Armenian food. Could be beetroot. Could be pumpkin. Could be meat. Could be the cherries. This only meat and this vegetarian. Oh, if you're from Armenia, you probably recognize yeah. these foods. And this could be meat. Okay. This is spinach. What is this? Each tabule Armenian. Oh, okay. These cookies are Armenian. Armenian cookies. Cookies only tahini and nuts. No egg, no milk, no butter. Oh, try one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. This Armenian sucre cookies. Yeah. All right, let's try it. 
All right, guys, I got uh, some Armenian food. Let me uh, show you. Well, I think it's Armenian ta uh, Armenian tabule, something like that. And then I'm guessing this is the fruits and vegetables section. Let me go over here. Fruits and vegetables, they have like a, a restaurant or an eatery cafe up there. You could drink tea. You got the, I think they see the black guy in there whipping it up. So the food's gonna be good. Uh, he might be Ethiopian. I know they have a lot of Ethiopians here. Boutron lemonade, I heard. This is another city and I heard that the lemonade is supposed to be really good. Oh, and then they have gin. Oh, wow, hello. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. All right. We try and eliminate. Okay, yeah. That's delicious. Butron lemonade. Or Butron. Yeah, Butron. Butron. Alright. And then uh do, do you what's the alcohol for? I make lemon gin. You make lemon gin? gin. Lemon, yeah. how, how, how much is the so you just pour it in there? Yeah, 500 instead of 300. Oh, okay. Oh man, I'm like. Oh, they can. He can put gin in the lemonade. Ah, uh, no, 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 don't drink and work. Okay, it's okay. No, I'll do it without it. I'll do it without it. I'll do it without it. Hold on, guys. Let me buy this. All right, got the drink. Oh, and then uh, you can eat up here. So that's what I plan to do. Eat some of the. Oh, let me let him pass. Eat some of the snacks up here. We're gonna keep it moving to the to the streets. Let me just get up in here real quick. And it's packed. Oh, excuse me. That's it, we'll go right here. All right, guys, this is what we got. The, uh, I don't remember the names, except for this one, Kibbe. It's like one of the must eats, but this is pumpkin though. It's like a vegan version. And then she said it's Armenian taboule. I know tabu Lebanese has, or Lebanon has taboule, but it's supposed to be the Armenian version. So I said, let me try that out. And then you got the lemonade, version lemonade. So here we go, let's try it out. Alright guys, just finished up. We're gonna continue this walk. I just had to start off with some energy. I still have some right here. Food was very interesting. Definitely something that's a little different, that taboule. I think that's what she said. Hold on, let me show you the vibe. The taboule was, uh, man, it was very seasoned. The, the lemonade, sweet. And then the, the snacks, they were vegetarian. So, very filling very feeling okay i think this is the area right here i think this is where we're at this is one of the restored areas And then there are little shops. Let's check this out. Uh, why is there? Oh, it's going in the middle. <sighs> Okay. 
Yeah, this is like a place where uh, I see some luxury stuff. Seems like an area for the bourgeois. Go down this way. Yes. Let me. Oh, they got tuck. And you got cafe culture, obviously. All right, guys. Give me one second, let's, uh, as I walk to the next destination. We're in the downtown area, which I believe was one of the main, main zones during the Civil War, 15 year Civil War. So we're here. To see the vibe now. But definitely uh, one of the quieter downtowns I've been to. The area that I started off in, Mar Mikkel, was a lot busier. Right now it's pretty chill. And it's a Saturday. So you gotta keep that in mind as well. But here goes the vibe. Fix this camera, there we go. We gotta hit up the I Love Bay route. Let me check this out. And what we're about to head to is a, uh, this place is called Bay Root Souks. So the original Souks, again, were destroyed during the i believe the civil war and they were reconstructed to look like this so if you're used to going to souks in other countries and you're wondering oh this doesn't look like one yeah it is there we go there goes the name Beirut souks it just looks a little different a little bit more uh stylish Like some of them uh, stores maybe closed down. But on the left side, you have some clothing stores. Calvin Klein, everyone knows this. The dress outfits. Faces. Never heard of that brand. Maybe that's the local brand. There's a pretty chill souk kids area right there. Uh, like this is a cinema, cinema city. Starbucks coffee. Let's go left side. Here goes another area. Let me just check this part out. And again, here goes the name. It root souks. Yeah, the architecture is lovely. The lights shine down right in the middle. Let me show you like that. The lights shine down. Law. But yeah, it's a little uh little desolate, I think. Due to some of the situations that the uh country's going through, that's why it may not be as busy. The left side. They have an escalator and stairs that go up to a different portion. I think I'm gonna just take a right and probably head out. Get the. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, they have another portion, but probably gonna head to the right. Go this way. There's another area.
beautiful with greenery. I talked about this in another video that there's a huge Lebanese diaspora outside of Lebanon, mainly in, uh, well, not mainly, but a lot in South America, especially Brazil, Brazil, Colombia, shout out to Shakira, and Argentina. And I'm sure the U.S. has them too. U.S. has uh, everyone in the world, pretty much. But... Yeah, huge, especially in South America. Yeah, we could go down that way. It's a nice area, but we'll keep going straight. This is nice. And we're gonna end it. I'm gonna take it right up here and we're gonna end it near a beautiful waterfront. I understand that different parts of the city probably will most likely receive more attention than others. So just keep that in mind. I know there's a whole different side to Lebanon that I'm probably not seeing. But keep in mind, I'm a, I'm a one man team. I can't see it, I can't, I can't do it all. And this is where we're gonna end it. Near the, the yacht club. Beautiful area. And I know at night it's probably gonna be uh, really, really nice, but let me go ahead and end the video right here. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. As I stated earlier, I just wanted to stay along this strip to check out some of the rebuilding, restoring. I know there's a lot of controversy around that. So that's why I didn't get into it. I just wanted to show you guys the vibe. I'll just say it seems that, and I've also heard that uh the area was invested well at least the investors had you know luxury and and high prices in mind but it may have kind of deterred a lot of people from living in the area so that's why maybe because it's saturday but that's why it seemed like it was kind of a empty walk in the streets but again it might be because of the day maybe it's a holiday i just don't know or or what i don't know but anyways appreciate you guys watching hope you enjoyed the video and uh be looking out for more from lebanon i'm gonna catch you guys at the next one deuces